Hi everyone and welcome to this video about attitude formation. So within social cognition the key idea we're covering here is that bi-directional relationship between um, attitudes and behaviour. Okay, um, And also the area of learning we're covering is attitude formation and change. So um, I guess to start off with a bit of a question, how do you feel about cyclists being on the road? Okay, Have a bit of a think, you might like to jot down your thoughts here. And have a think about how did you come to have this attitude? What happened or what hasn't happened or, you know, what factors might have affected you having this attitude? Okay, so the three ways that we talk about attitudes um, being formed is number one, mere exposure, also called indirect experience. Number two, direct experience. And number three, learning. So in terms of mere exposure, um, this is... It's not personal, so it's having indirect experience and merely being exposed to an object of some kind. Now this is usually enough to form some kind of an attitude. So this could be something like reading about something, being told about something, seeing something, advertising um, uses this kind of um, attitude formation technique. And attitudes formed this way are quite vulnerable to change because they're not really rooted in personal experience and it's not going to have a massive impact on you um, compared to the next one we'll talk about. So they're less emotionally intense and they don't evoke the same levels of thinking or talking that direct experience do. So an example of this might be an advertisement like this that you'll see on the side of a road. Um, and maybe you've seen a whole bunch of these cycling ads, particularly with the tour down under. And you think that bike riding on the bikes riding on the road is a great idea. You know, it's um, a great way to stay fit. They look healthy. They're social. Um, you know, they're being environmentally friendly. And you can see here that they're really pushing that this is, you know, an athletic kind of sport here. Okay, second way, um, by direct experience. So attitudes are formed through direct personal experience and these are really, really strong. So this is especially true if you've had some kind of traumatic or really frightening experience. That's going to quite strongly affect an attitude you have about something. So we're more likely to think and talk about things that happen to us personally um, and because of that, this makes the attitude quite strong. So if you personally have um, been riding your bike on the road and you've had some kind of massive accident, that's probably going to affect how you feel about riding a bike on the road. Now the last one, learning. Um, how we learn about situations or through situations is going to affect the attitudes we have and we're going to focus on these types of learning a little bit more in our next topic. But to give you a bit of introduction here, so Learning by association is called classical conditioning. Okay, so um, pairing or associating an object with some kind of experience leads us to associate that object um, with the feeling that we got from the experience. Okay, um, you can also learn via rewards or punishments, and this is called operant conditioning. So the attitudes we formed are affected by the consequences we receive by expressing that attitude. So consider here if you um, maybe express some kind of racist attitude at dinner and all of your friends and all of your family are outraged and they can't believe you've, you've said this and they're so embarrassed and horrified, that might lead you, um, I guess, to form a bit of an attitude about um, your personal prejudice here. So you've just kind of said some off-the-cuff remark, not really realising what you've said, but the consequence has now changed your attitude towards that topic. Um, now... Modelling is the very last one here. So this is observing the people around us and this is usually your parents. So without knowing, you've probably picked up a lot of your parents' attitudes along the way, whether it be towards um, how you treat other people or cyclists on the road or politicians. A lot of these are formed through modelling the behaviour of others. Now I want you to think here about um, road rage. Perhaps you have witness some road rage, maybe it's your parents at cyclists, um, that's really going to affect um, how you, the, or the attitude that you form about cyclists as well. Now if you need any more information, as always, please ask me or see the resources. See you next time.